So would you get into a relationship with a woman that was over the age of 35 that wanted kids and knowing this is a possibility? No. No. What about you? No. Oh, say the mic, say the mic. No. Okay. Tell me why. China, I feel like you got thoughts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, because because geriatric pregnancy starts, when does it start? Age, is it 30, 29, 30? You start to lose the egg. Ger- I think geriatric starts at 35, but you've lost most of your yeah, eggs you, by 30. Yeah, so you, yeah. Sorry, so you lose most of your eggs by 30. Geriatric pregnancy starts at 35. I would like to have three to five kids. I don't have any kids so far. So I come from a big family. So... Um, yeah, I would obviously need to be a woman that could, that could, yeah, it can that bear could, it, isn't yeah. It? Mm-hmm. And you know what it is like. I'm just, I'm just real, man. Like, like I have to put this out there because there seems to be something that men don't understand as you get older. Because I'm in my thirties and that, like, things just get so much better. So it's like my girls and my girls in the twenties and that, and I get, Come on, man. like, I get women all the times in the twenties that have no problems that would move to me. So this, there's something where, so what tends to happen is a lot of women in their thirties because they. They spent their twenties chasing off the Chad and Tyrone and and, and and getting run through, getting high body counts, getting trauma, getting kids and what have you not. So by the time they get to their thirties and then they wake up and they like the girl said before she was having a panic attack or whatever, um, they start looking at the guys that they didn't look at. But the thing is now like these types of guys were not actually looking at you. And then if you're out in the club store when you're in the thirties, there's a new set of women that are out, that are out now from their twenties, right? And and the guys you didn't look at when you were chasing after Chad and Tyrone and now the guys that you're chasing after, but they have an access to all types of women. So a lot of the times you will get women that get in their feelings, they'll start saying stuff about, oh, men in their 30s trying to date younger women, or it's because they want to control them and do all this. No, the reason they're saying that is because it's competition now and they're out in the same exact same place and they're going after the same group of men. And so they want to make it fair, but life isn't fair. When we was younger and I was 18 and 20s and that, and they were dating all the older mans and they were popping bottles and jumping in the cars, like we had to, we had to take the pain. It, it, it wasn't nice. They had the sparklers. The uncles were doing their thing. But <laughs> no, it's cool. It's cool. It was a Western. They had the sparklers and that. They were jumping in the whips. You know, we was watching what was there going on. Sparklers? You know, you know oh, the wow. bottles. Yeah, you know. Yeah, the you, bo- we went to very different high schools. <laughs> yeah. <than us. laughs> no, like one was out. So, so, so we've seen all of that. So now we're the uncles and we're living a life. And some people are are, are, are not happy. But the difference is a lot of the, the younger women, they have seen what you women haven't seen in these men that you've missed and now you're directly in competition with them. So what I always put out to people is you need to use your, your prime time from 18 to 28. You've had 10 years literally outside. Like you've had good guys. You've had guys in your DMs, guys stacking shelves, guys studying, guys that you've aired, but you're chosen to go after the top 20% of guys that have access to multiple women, guys that can have one baby with one woman and then actually get you to have babies with them again. So my thing is this, is this, you know, Things get so good and we don't take baby mums around here. Bro, listen, yeah. Let, hey, let me say something, yeah, because I come in really late, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah listen, 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 listen. Let me say one thing, yeah. I do not have sympathy for you chicks, yeah. When you get old, you hit the wall and now you start complaining. Oh, where has all the good men gone? Bro, you had the good men. They're in your friend zone in your best years, bro. Yeah, when you're chasing Chad and Tyrone, like my boy said, Chad Chad and Tyrone, yeah, (laughs) yeah, you're smashing guys like China and King Richards, (laughs) bruv, it's your fault, bro, yeah, and then, like, at the end of the day, bruv, it's on you, bro, you're adult, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? You ch- do you chasing bad boys and, and drug dealers and rappers and YouTubers and all of these kind of people, bruv, at the end of the day, you only got yourself to blame, fam. Do you are, get what I'm saying? Are you both single then? What? Are you both single? No, Listen, no, no, not even, not even though, just, fam. Not even though, fam. Just, just, just a question. No, 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 I'm active. I'm active. I'll say I'm active. All right. Yeah. No, what was your question again? Yeah, are you single? Yeah. Why? Because I want to be right now. Oh, okay, exactly. interesting. So anyway, as I was saying, yeah, boom, like, and then you get old, and then boom, like, your your, your options have dried up, and you've dried up as well. Uh-huh. That's it, bro. Uh-huh. Do you get what I'm saying? And don't blame no one in it. Don't cry in it because when you was winning, you didn't care about nothing. Nothing. Do you know what I'm saying? You didn't care about the guys in your friend zone. You didn't care about the guys that want to treat you right and nothing, bro. Because every man here has had a situation where you liked a girl and you was willing to give that girl the world and everything. And it was it wasn't even a hypersexual situation. It, you wanted to go on picnics, hold hands, skip, and all of that, bro. Yeah. And, 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 she, the and girl she cheated did... on them with you, bro. Not even. And you crying like raging. You changed the whole dynamic. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But listen, at the end of the day, you hurt feelings, innit? So when the world comes and bites you back, bruv, it's, bro, you had your chance, mm. innit? That's all I'm saying, innit? Did someone hurt you? I feel like this oh, is personal. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, no. Classic shaming tactic. I'm good. No, no, I listen, no, no, I'm no, good. No, I'm it good. was I'm a little good. personal. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, it got, it got techie. It got techie. But Just like, it's it real, innit? No, I'm good. I'm Gucci, bro. Trust me. You can tell. Number one. That's always the number one comment when someone, a man is speaking facts, is who hurt you. You know, I hear what you're saying. 